what is up people and welcome back to the channel hope you're all cool and keeping awesome out there so today as you might be able to see we're going to do some unboxing never done this before so bear with me and uh yeah so popped up to bike tart just yesterday uh see my guys see how they're all doing and everything absolutely busy as you can imagine so it's really cool to see them all check in and uh if you ever need any cycling stuff at all anything check out their website it's all on now if not and you don't see it don't worry hit them up with an email or a call and uh, they can help you out so anyway into the unboxing so here we go so dun 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 the new troy lee t4 that's right yep so used to run troy lee a little while ago and uh was absolutely stoked when heard that i was going to release the new d4 got myself down for one of those as soon as those available and uh, the good guys at Bite Tart, like I say, hooked me up, no problem at all. So uh, let's just get on with the unboxing, shall we? Oh, by the way, sorry about the background noise. Neighbours are kicking right off, doing some uh, some sort of DIY. Typical that to start now, but uh, it's all good, no worries. So, first things, okay. So, proper cool, nice little random black box from Troy Lee. But wait, this is what it's all about. What's inside? Oh yeah, put the box down there, perfect. So, super cool helmet bag with a D4. I've gone for the carbon option. It's got the new um, Techstream carbon fibre weave in there. So basically what it means is, it's a little bit lighter than normal carbon because they'll be able to make the strand straighter. For some reason that seems to work pretty cool and keeps it down, happy days. Uh, this option has also got the MIPS as well. So. In my personal opinion, if I'm ever going to buy a helmet, I'm always looking if it's got a MIPS option. Just gives you that bit more confidence that inevitably if something did happen, you've got that system as a backup as well. So, pretty cool. So, uh, first impressions of the bag. So it's been an update since last time, since the D3 I had. So, I'm happy with that. Nice big Velcro pocket in the front there. Put your lift past in, race board, whatever. Then we've got a nice big open pocket. I'd say that'd be pretty cool for goggles and stuff. So. Happy with that, that's pretty cool. Nice to keep them all together, know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, just one pocket on one side, but that's all right, that's all good. They made little vents in it, so it's nice and breathable, so finish your ride, put your helmet straight in there, don't worry, it's still gonna get breathable, it's gonna dry out, no worries at all. Uh, nice little feature, they get your pilot, uh, to put your name on the top there, it's pretty cool. So you just know you don't lose your bag with one of your mates or they try to nick it pretty cool so here we go the grand unveiling so um put the bag down now nice nice so we always have this thing with a brand new helmet you do really need to roll it in the dirt before you put it on your head or go riding we can do that not a problem so wow okay that's a lot sicker than i expected in the images it doesn't really show off the the carbon checker that well hope you can see that nicely there it's pretty sick love that it's like a like a matte finish loads and loads of vents so it's gonna be super breathable when you're doing park laps or or racing feels mega light for a full face helmet it's mental light so well happy with that and uh the new, the new thing they do is that it's got a breakaway visor, so inevitably if you did headbutt something or smash into the trees or, or hit the ground, whatever, the helmet's going to just break off and they give you spare screws and everything in the bag as well, so it's pretty cool. Um, something I was quite happy about, to be honest, is the, the, little, the new buckles are now titanium. They might have been on the D3. Comment below and let me know if I'm wrong. Sorry if I am. Uh, but these ones are titanium, definitely, 100%. So super happy with that. They've got the double loop system. So like the micro slids and normal my bike helmets. Uh, I think it's a lot nicer than the, the click and go ones. Yeah, the click and goes, you just click and go. Yeah, like in the name. But I feel a lot more secure when you're running these loops. So pretty happy with that. Inside, we've got loads of padding. That's all uh, removable, can be washed, no problems at all. All I'd say is probably, I'm gonna keep the temperature down in the washing machine, or I might just hand wash it. See how I go, uh, let you know. Uh, 
if inevitably you do have a bit of an accident, real cool thing, just put your fingers under there and pull them cheek pads out. Gives whoever's got one on a bit more time to breathe and also it's easier for them to remove the helmet if, they've, if they're not too concussed, we can get the helmet off and get them uh, in the recovery position. But all that safety stuff, we don't need to worry about that. This is, today is all about looking how rad this is. So yeah, really, really impressed. And I uh, think we might as well uh, try it on. So uh, they've even got some info on the MIPS if you're not too sure, look it up online. Pretty cool little system that the Swiss have come up with. They always do things pretty cool, so to link in with all the helmet brands and that is really nice. And uh, tags about cleaning cleaning products that are recommended by Troy Lee, so it's pretty cool. Uh, here we go, it's a little helmet feature thing, quickly run through it. Textream spread toe carbon fiber shell, MIPS C2 brain protection system, front air intake system with high flow through polymer center and power grid side mesh. Collarbone suspension system. That's nice, as I've got a bro broken collarbone. Uh, well, not now, but I did have, so that's sick. Uh, breakaway visor screws, as I mentioned. x and an XT2 anti-microfobal, anti-odor padding. Nice. Uh, quick release contoured 3D cheek pads to create an automatic optimized fit. And uh, this one is not intended for motorized vehicles, so e-bikes. Maybe, but I'd say, to be honest, you probably want a motorbike lid because it's basically a motorbike anyway. So anyway, yeah, let's uh, get this bad boy on. Step back. So there we go. Super nice snug fit, it's a medium. And what you want to do, you don't want to have the hamster cheeks going on, which is pretty cool, so. Good way to tell that is get your fingers in the side. If you can get your hands in there and not moving around too much, but it's not pushing hard on your cheeks, I'd say that's pretty cool. D-loop system's real nice. So if you haven't done one before, it can be a bit fiddly to start with, but basically you put it through both loops and then open it up, thread that through the inner loop, I would say, inner buckle, and then just click and go, happy days. With chin straps, you want them so that you can open your mouth fully. So that probably needs to be a little bit tighter, but we're only visual today, we're not gonna go shred just yet. So, well happy with it. Feels nice and light, plenty of movement. That's good. And uh, I brought my goggles along, just so I could try them out with my goggles as well. So I'm running the Smith Squad goggles. As you've probably seen, I do like purple a little bit, so I've got a purple iridium lens in, and uh, they fit absolutely perfect. So, be interesting to see what the XL Smith goggles are like. They do a slightly bigger one, so be interesting to see what they're like on there. But these are just the normal ones, so super happy. And uh, I'll give you a, a rotation. Try not to get too dizzy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's amazing. So, hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you uh, have any comments, or if there's anything I missed, please let me know below. Um, thanks for watching, my first ever unboxing, hope it weren't too bad and a bit rough, try to do this all in one take, no pausing, and um, yeah, look forward to taking it to trails, we're going to try and do some Rogate and some Aston Hill soon, now that all the parks are back open, so we look forward to going back there, but uh, until the next time, next adventure, please like and subscribe, stay safe, see you on the hill.